Alison Scrapey, annual appraisal. As Alison's line manager, I am profoundly dissatisfied with her performance, which has been hampered by the fact she spends all day on the phone organising her social life. As long as this phone obsession continues, I see no future for her in the data department or indeed anywhere else in Power Enterprises. Have you got anything to say? Listen to me, Dean Totter. You are not coming to the party and that is final. <laughs> <laughs> Shari Roberts is here. <laughs> PP, is something wrong? What? No, no, I'm fine. Just some excess saliva. <laughs> ah, come in, my dear. Please sit down. And how's my new head of office services? Well, all right. It's just I've never done anything like this before. I mean, it's so different from working in the canteen. You have the assets to overcome anything. As soon as I saw you, I knew you had potential. Well, I hope I'll manage, but it'll take a bit of getting used to. Because when you said you were going to promote me, I thought I was going to be on the beetroot slicer. I really don't know how to thank you. Don't worry. There are ways. And I hope you'll start on Friday by gracing my 50th birthday party with your fragrant presents. I'm inviting all my employees. They can come with their partners. <laughs> Though, of course, they can leave with whoever they want. Eric Feeble's here. In? Ah, Feeble. I want you to meet Sherry Roberts, the new head of office services. Hello. Hi. Oh, you, you look terribly familiar. D didn't you used to work in... Oh, no, no. Couldn't be. What were you going to say? Well, I, I was going to say the, the canteen. <laughs> that's silly. No, no, that's right. I was on salads. And I've promoted her. Hmm, well, it, it's an obvious leap, actually. I mean, they're, they're, they're both all about, um, aren't they? Hand, handling resources, you know, whether it's, well, you know, a tomato and a spring onion or, or thousands of square feet of office space and a lot of furniture and computers and things. It, it's, it, it's all about um, arranging it on, 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 on a plate. Sherry here is clearly an outstanding businesswoman with vast potential. What she needs as she sets out in her new role is an assistant to give her a bit of guidance, which is where you come in, Feeble. Thank you. So from today, you'll be helping her out. You will report to her, and she, of course, will be directly under me. <laughs> Listen to me, Dean Tottle. I know the invitation said take your partner, but you don't take your partner to work, do you? You only take them to a do-do. And I know a work-do can be like a do-do, but this work-do is like a work-do and it's not a do-do. Alison, I'll be working upstairs today, so I... So if it was a do-do, you could come. Or if it was a work-do that was like a do-do... Alison! I'm busy! I'm warning you, Alison, I am going to send that appraisal upstairs. But it's a work-do and not a do-do, so you're not coming. Well, yes, I was a bit surprised. I mean, one day I'm shelling hard-boiled eggs, and the next I'm responsible for a budget of four million pounds. <laughs> right, OK, let's make a start. Now, the first thing we have to do is sort out furniture allocations for all the regional offices. You see, everyone's getting new desks and chairs and carpets and so on, and we've got to sort out who gets what. Yeah, I've done it. How did you manage to work it all out so quickly? Oh, I'll give everyone the same. See, the way I look at it, furniture is just like salads. No one grumbles if they get the same size portion as everyone else. No, but, but the offices, they're, they're, they're all different. I mean, Nottingham is a huge building, you know, thousands of square metres, hundreds of staff, whereas Exeter is just a porter cabin with two people in it. Oh, I didn't think. Do you think people will notice? week's holiday, so we're going to have a lovely week's holiday, OK? So where are we going today? It's a surprise. Is it a surprise like the place we went yesterday? The funny place with all the twigs? The Museum of Water Divining is still finding its feet. I think it's fascinating. We're not going there again. No, we're not. We're going to a fun park, like Alton Towers, all right? Hooray! Sherry, <laughs> baby. Put the old bath through. Ah, Mrs. P.P. P.P. here. Just wanted a word re my 50th birthday party. I'm not so sure you will want to come. People aren't bringing their partners. It's all going to be business. Business with data, business with sales, business with office services. <sighs> what? No, no, I'm fine. Just some excess saliva. 
Yeah, so why don't you stay at home and finish your grouting? Cheers, matey. In. Oh, it's you, feeble. Um, well, I, I just... Oh, uh, um... Impressive, isn't it? All the young bucks are wearing them. You'd never guess I was 50. No, no, no. Um, and, and anyway, um, I need to have a word about Sherry. What word would you like? Marvellous? Impressive? Succulent? Yes, all those. But 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 as well, there, there is a bit of a situation on the furniture front. Um, you see, Sherry... Yes? In a marvellous, impressive, succulent way, has um, misallocated furniture and the regional offices are, are, are going to have serious problems. Are you being critical of Sherry? No, no, no. So it's your fault? No. So you are being critical of Sherry? No. All, all I'm saying is that this problem's arisen and I, I thought you ought to know. Listen, Feeble. When I made you Sherry's assistant, I made you responsible for everything she does. If she underorders, if she overorders, if she spends the entire year's budget on diamond encrusted silk underwear. Are you all right, Peepy? -pee? What? No, no, I'm fine. Just some excess saliva. The point is, you're responsible. So you'd better fix it. Because if you don't, you'll be out of here faster than a whippet ass burger out of a cannon. <laughs> A ghost train? It's really more a departed spirits train. But the spirits are going to frighten us. Please. They're really more going to, to reassure you from the other side. Mm. Yeah, but Ali, listen. No, what I'm, No, but Ali, no. I what I'm trying Ali I'll, But I only wanted a new door on the cupboard. Yeah, well, this is a trouble with any sort of building work. It's like an Aladdin's cave. You find more and more. Don't worry, we can deal with it. It's just going to cost you a little more. How much? Couple of grand. Plus parts. Plus labour. Plus VOT. Plus another couple of grand. Yes, I'm getting the excess chairs from Exeter sent up to you. They should be with you before the end of the day. Um, yes, and, and, and the carpet's coming too. Well, I hope it's soon. I've got a board meeting starting in a couple of minutes. I'll call Exeter again and check things are on their way. Should I be doing something? I could always make you a salad. I think it's best if I handle everything. Don't, don't worry, I can manage all this. It's really not that much of a problem. You must be so cross with me. Let me just get you a couple of tomatoes or something. No, look, really, Sherry, this isn't your fault. You're so sweet. Stick of celery? Hi, Eric Feeble again. Has the lorry arrived to pick up the stuff? Oh, yes, it has. We're going to try and get it out the window. Right, I'll let Nottingham know. Hi, it's me again. I I've just spoken to Exeter and there's a bit of a delay. Can you improvise? We are improvising, but I can't help thinking there's a better way of using our youth scheme trainees. But I thought you said this was the Big Dipper. It is. It's a yogic Big Dipper. Isn't it great? It all happens inside your head. Oh! It's fine, Pee Pee. I'm sorting everything out. Exeter are sending their surplus chairs to Nottingham. and They've just got to remove a window to get them out. Um, oh, so, hang on. Hello? Guy who? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, from the Exeter office. Um, did you get the stuff out of the window? No! It got jammed! So the fire brigade came and knocked down the internal wall! All a bit messy, really. If any of your furniture got damaged, just let me know and I'll reorder it. We might need a bit more than furniture. You're just like your father! So hostile! Just because it's all a little bit different, a little bit new! What flavour do you want? What is there? Tofu, lentil or bean curds and broccoli. It's all right. We bought some chocolate from home. Mmm. Oh, is that organic, sugar-free Guatemalan carob with less than 30% hydrogenated vegetable fat? I don't know. It is just an ordinary bar of chocolate. Stop! Right! Freeze! I'm going to have to expel you from the premises immediately! Security alert! Red alert! Red alert! Do not move. You are surrounded by armed persons. <laughs> There, there. You mustn't blame yourself. We can blame Feeble. Oh, but that's no good. What about the next time? And the next time? We can't go on blaming him for the rest of my life. Why not? I've got to face it. I'm useless. I can't do this job. 
Would you like me to promote you again? Maybe you'd like to be finance director. No, I should just go back to the canteen where I belong. I know what to do with a cucumber. <laughs> you don't need to go back to the canteen. But what else can I do? I've got to pay my bills somehow. Well, I can help you out with that. What do you mean? Well, I can give you a helping hand. And you could do the same for me. I didn't understand. Oh, I think you do. <laughs> Yeah, but Ali, I. Yeah, but, but uh, Ali, I'm not. Yeah, no. no I, three pints of lager top, please, darling. Three packets of pork scratchings, four packets of cheese and onion crisps, five packets of nuts, and three more pints of lager top. Sorted? Yeah, I'm not going. We're well, not going? Well, after all that. Well, it's a work do. I mean, it's not a do do. Whoa! What do you mean? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, she don't want you there, cos she's got her eye. And maybe more. On someone else. Nah, not Ellie. Well, women, can't trust them. They ain't like blokes. No sense of loyalty. You leave them alone for a minute and suddenly it's like... Whoa! Look at the state of that. <laughs> Cherie, I never meant it to be like this. I just wanted to give you happiness. Please don't push me aside and give me a wide berth. Cherie, I could give you a life of glee and mirth. Will you shut up? You're making a fool out of yourself and me. I don't care. I had to make it up to you somehow, so I got you these. And this. And this. I'm not just after a quick fling and a roll in the hay. I want more than that, my darling. I want lots of quick flings and lots of rolls in the hay. I want us to be together. Whenever I can get away from my wife. You still don't get it, do you? I don't want nothing to do with you. I trusted you. I thought you promoted me because you believed in me. Really? But I'll tell you this. When I do finally give myself to someone... <laughs> Go on, it's just excess saliva. It's going to be with someone who respects me for what I am, who doesn't lie to me and who doesn't treat me like a piece of meat. Well, with that attitude, you're going to have a long search. Actually, I've already found him. Where? Eunuch Support Group? No, Power Enterprises. <laughs> So I said to him, listen to me, Dean Tottle, you are not coming to the party and that is final. And he said, but I thought the invitation said take your partner. And I said, yeah, I know the invitation said take your partner, but you don't take your partner to a work do, you only take me to a do do. And I know work do can be like a do do, but this work do is like a work do, it's not a do do. Don't you think you should be worried? I know you're not going to send it. Hello? PP, yes, um, I'll, I'll be there right away. Um, I've just got to put Alison's appraisal in my out tray in order to go to personnel immediately. I mean it, Alison. I'm really, really serious. Oh, come off it. Why don't you just write me a good one and stop this stupid going on at me? I'd really like to give you a good one, Alison. Believe me, there's nothing I'd like more. Oh, why don't you then? It would be cheating. It would be dishonest. I don't care. <gasps> um. Ah, PP. Um, yes, uh, th there's nothing to worry about now. It's all sorted. Every power office in the country does have the right chairs and tables, and we found another building for Exeter, and it's all covered by insurance, and, well, everything's fine. Um. Vodka feeble. Well, well, it, well it is only ten past nine, um, and I do prefer to wait till a bit later. Do you mind if I do? Please. Uh, she doesn't love me. I disgust her. Sorry? Sherry, I disgust her. And do you know the worst thing? She's right. It's my 50th birthday tonight, and look at me. Drunk, dressed up like some nightclub owner from Cardiff and chasing after some fluffy piece of skirt in her twenties. Some painted tart, begging her to be <laughs> my lady friend. 
Have you got a lady friend, Feeble? Have you? Well, n not as such. I... Uh... No one must know, Feeble. No one must know. Don't tell anyone. No, of course not. Because I can't help myself. I'm disgusting. I can't stop. I'm like a rutting deer in a musk shop. I'm obsessed. And do you know the worst thing? Do you? Um... Uh, well, um... She's after someone else. Someone in this building. She says she loves him because he respects her. Because he's honest with her. Doesn't that make you just sick? Yes. Blech. People, <laughs> I want you to find out who he is. And I want you to bring the name to me. You will find out, won't you, Phoebe? Of, of course. Good. Because when I find out who it is, I'm going to bounce him like a basketball until he pleads for mercy. Please stop. Please stop. You won't tell anyone, will you? You won't tell anyone, because if you do, I'll have to bounce you as well. No, I, I won't say a word. No. You're my friend, aren't you, Feeble? <laughs> I don't want nothing more to do with her. Me and Ellie Scrapey are finito. But she's your bird. So? Dino, whatever happened to your values? Yeah, loyalty, pride. Smashing a bloke's face in when he touches up your bird. Listen, giving Eric Feeble a good slap ain't gonna solve nothing. Hey. What? But it'll make me feel a whole lot better. <laughs> If you don't mind, darling, we have a crisis here. Some people got no sense of priorities. Come on, let's. <laughs> and everything's sorted with PP, so I think what we need to do today. Eric, I've decided to go back to the canteen. Oh. It was stupid to think I could ever do this job. Putting me in charge of office services was like. Oh, I don't know, um... Putting Hannibal Lecter in charge of the canteen? Oh, yes! Oh, Eric, you're so funny as well as wise. So, I just wanted to say thank you. Well, that's all right. No, I wanted to really thank you. Well, it's nothing. No, I wanted to really, really, really thank you. <coughs> you're not like other men, Eric. You respect me. Oh, my goodness. No, no. You see, that's the thing. Um, I don't. You don't see me as a piece of meat. I do. Honest. Um, four. Look at those. I mean, you see? <laughs> Eric, that's the most unconvincing bit of acting I've ever seen. But you know what? What? It only makes you more attractive in my eyes. Oh, no. How? You can't disguise your basic honesty and decency. I can. I can. I'm just a bit out of practice. <laughs> Eric, I want you to be the first. I want to give myself to you. Well, thank you very much. It's a very lovely offer. I mean, it's very kind of you. It's just, just that I've, 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 um, I, I, I've got a girlfriend. Daddy, daddy, daddy! We are so glad to be home. And you're welcome to keep them. I haven't been so stressed since I dislocated my knee worshipping Woda, the god of dance. Liz. B before you go, I, I need a favour. It's really urgent. I need someone to take to a work due this evening. Otherwise, I'm going to be in a really embarrassing situation. I'll tell you what an embarrassing situation is. Being ejected from a theme park whilst an entire community cheers and pelts you with free range of dookie beans! Daddy, you could take Maria to the party. She has been at home all week with nothing to do, so she would probably like to go out. Oh, I love the half-term. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I don't think so. Well, who are you going to take? What? Pretend to be your girlfriend? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's only for one night. That is revolting. Please, th this woman's after me and I just need to put her off the scent. Oh, why don't you just tell her you're not interested? I tried, but she wouldn't take no for an answer, so I had to tell her I'd got a girlfriend. And that's why I need you to come with me to the party. Absolutely no way, 100% totally never, no way, never, 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 nil percent. Any internal mail, Eric? <laughs> I'll do it, but no snogging. Oh, 
karaoke. We're going to get things underway now on the karaoke front. <laughs> First up, we've got, uh, let me see, hey, Graham Ditchburn. Hello. Yeah, hold, hold it down, hold it down, son. It's very powerful, very powerful. Now, what do you want to sing, Graham? Uh, it's probably a bit of a long shot. <laughs> you haven't got any Barclay James Harvest, have you? Anything. You put your hand on my back. No snogging means no touching in general. We've got to touch each other a bit. We're supposed to be boy and girlfriend. But we're not, are we? No, shh, shh. Ah, feeble. <laughs> Have you found him yet? No, 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 no. I've got no idea who he is whatsoever. I, I mean, he could be anyone out of hundreds, thousands. But he's here tonight. And when I find him, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. I reckon he's a younger man, maybe divorced, certainly unattached. Have you met my girlfriend? You know Alison, don't you? I didn't know you were going out. We're not really. Um, um, until recently, it's been a long, slow courtship thing. So how long has it been? A two month. weeks. A month. Oh, two weeks. Um, Three seven days. Weeks. Well, anyway, um, you, you probably want a drink, don't you, darling? Get off! Hmm. Excuse me, can I see your invitation? Hey, keep it down, it's powerful. Nina Bucks already had a nosebleed. I was just, um, just having a game of slaps with Alison, my girlfriend, who, who I'm here with, and who came here with me, because we're going out. We're incredibly close. Oh, me. Darling, Alison. I told you. There you go. Slaps. Oh, what a great game. Ah, uh, Sherry, my dear. Oh, no. Can I get you anything? A drink? A dance? A pied d'artère in Chelsea? Excuse me, I'm talking to Alison and Eric. Ah, yes. The lovebirds. More's the pity. Right, well, I'll leave you two to chat and um, I'll talk to Alison here. She's my, my girlfriend. So, you two, um, get together and come on, Alison. Look, I'm getting sick of this. I told you, no touching. No touching? Not much of a relationship, is it, Feeble? <laughs> no, no she, she's just a big tease. That's why I love her, don't I? It's that Latin temperament. I thought she was from Romford. Yes, but, but her temperament's from Italy. <laughs> Problem, feeble? No, no, it's just a stunt for charity. <laughs> that is for touching my bird. His bird? B bird, bird, uh, yes, it's, it's a bird. It's, 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 from, it's a cockney rhyming slang thing for, for um, 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 curd. Ish. Refugees, which is the charity which that was the stunt for. I've got your number, Feeble. Next up, uh, Alison Scrapey. Come on, Alison. Right, I'm going to sing now. Now keep it down, it's very powerful, I keep telling you. We've got to do a song together. Something very smoochy, something very loving. We've, you've got to help me. Leave me alone. My boyfriend's here. This charade is over. Mrs. P.P., what, what are you doing here? 
Well, PP, I finished my grouting, thought I'm your wife, damn it, and I belong here by your side. Cheers, matey! Hmm. Ch cheers, matey. No, that is it. I'm not doing it anymore. I ain't gonna be your girlfriend. If PP finds out Sherry's after me, he's going to kill me! Eh? He's obsessed with her. He's been giving her presents. He's been visiting at her house and writing her stupid poems. He's an unstable, sad, mad drunk who's going through some pathetic menopause and he's out of control and he's threatening to kill whoever it is she's after. So for Pete's sake, will you please keep up this charade just for a few hours? Longer. You Asperger. Where's me grouting trowel? Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Right, I'm going to sing now. <laughs> <laughs>